A federal high court sitting in Kano has fixed June 13th for ruling on the issue of jurisdiction in the case of Kano Emirates Tussle. The court, presided over by Justice Abdullahi Muhammad Liman, adjourned the sitting following the heated arguments between counsels. One Aminu Baba Danagudi, Sakin Dawaki Ababa of the Kano Emirates, had approached the court asking it to restrain the respondents from enforcing, implementing, and operationalizing the repealed law. The respondents in the suit are Kano State Government, Kano State House Assembly, Speaker, Kano State House Assembly, Attorney General of Kano State, Kano State Commissioner of Police, IGP, NSCDC, and the DSS. At a resumed hearing on Thursday, counsel to the applicant, Ms. Wazidi, filed a written address dated June 6, stating that the applicant, as a member of Kano Emirates King Makers, ought to have been involved in a restatement of the new EMIA. The judge adjourned the case to June 13 for ruling on jurisdiction. Let's now join our correspondent, Emmanuel Bagudu, for more on this. Emmanuel, good evening. Glad to have you join me. Uh, what was the burning issue at the court today concerning the Emirates tussle? Yeah, the bone of contention is not different from uh, the initial uh, purported document signed by Justice Liman, which actually stated that uh, everyone should maintain the status quo and Aminu Aidobera should continue to remain the Emir of Kano pending the ruling of the Federal High Court. Now, the hearing continues today and we see uh, the cases in all its merits and of course Mr. Uh, Am Aminu Baba was the one that actually started uh, the suit where he says that um, of course uh, the Federal High Court has the jurisdiction to listen to the matter and that uh, the operationalization of the repeal law should be stopped. Now the argument there is whether or uh, uh, the, the council to Sanusi or the, the council to uh, the Kano State, High, uh, Kano State government are actually uh, arguing for the jurisdiction. But the, it's very, very clear there that um, the only person that is looking for, that is actually seeking for the jurisdiction of the court is the, the person of Baba Aminu. So it is a question of the jurisdiction. If the Federal High Court by next week actually rule that the, it has a jurisdiction over the, over the case, then of course the demands of uh, of Aminu Baba will be met. But if it doesn't happen that way, of course, uh, as Sanusi continues to be the Emir. Mm. Now, looking ahead, Emmanuel, what should be expected on June 13th after the ruling? Okay, what should be expected after the ruling on June 13th is the fact that uh, whether or not uh, the Federal Health Court will actually uh, set as uh, ask the state, the Kano state government to obey the new repeal law or to set aside the repeal law. That is what is going to happen on that day because it is a question of jurisdiction and the, the, the idea of the issue of step, uh, squashing the new law has been argued today by, of course, the respondent that's counsel to the state government and, of course, uh, the counsel to the, the remaining respondent. So the, the, what will happen on Thursday next week, which is June 13, is the fact that the court will actually, uh, the Federal High Court will actually uh, free itself. It's going to make, make this position known whether it actually has a jurisdiction to listen to the case or not. And if that happens, it will be either it will not, it will be it will it will be, it will showcase uh, the judgment made by the state high court, which is uh, that from uh, Aminu uh, Amin Liman. It will actually validate it or discredit it. That's going to happen. That's what's going to happen that day. And of course, we know that uh, Justice Amin Liman actually authenticated um, uh, Mohammed Sanusi II as the authentic emir since. His emergence was as a, new, as a result of a new le legislation by the Kano State High, uh, House of Assembly. Uh, Sims will ask a uh, connection uh, with uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel Bagudu, are you there? I'm there, I can hear you clearly. Yes, I lost you for a moment there. You were talking to me about what you expect or what I expected uh, following the ruling come June 13th. Yes, what should be expected is the fact that whether the Federal High Court in Kano has the jurisdiction to listen to the matter or not. And if it, it does, of course, the matter will continue and then it is assumed that the status quo is being maintained. So it is going to decide on, the, on the Thursday next week, June 13th, whether it has jurisdiction. If it has jurisdiction, it simply means that the initial uh, pronouncement it made that status quo should be maintained simply means that Aminu Adobe remains the emir until the court decides. Well,
Thank you so much, Emmanuel Bergudu. Well, fingers crossed, we'll have to wait and find out how things pan out come June uh, 13th. Thank you once again, our correspondents right there, live in Abuja.